Hello, everyone, and welcome to our executive podcast series sponsored by the School of Business here at iGlobal University. Today, I'm happy that we have invited uh, Mr. Scott Motz to be a speaker as part of our podcast. Scott, welcome to our executive series podcast. Thanks so much, Dr. Mark. Happy to be here and looking forward to diving in and uh, bringing the value nuggets that I can today. Great. Thank you so much for joining us. So for those of you that don't know Scott, he is a former executive at Procter & Gamble. He is a popular keynote speaker, author of an Amazon number one best-selling uh, book, Leading from the Middle. Uh, he's written other books. Again, I mentioned a former executive at Procter & Gamble. He's also on the faculty at uh, Indiana University's Kelly School of Business, a uh, former top desk columnist for Inc. Magazine. And uh, he's also the founder and CEO of his own company called Profound Performance. So again, Scott, welcome to the program today. Thanks so much, uh, Mark. I really appreciate it. Appreciate the opportunity. Great. Thank you. And I saw, uh, I happened to come across this book, not from a traditional uh, review, but I saw a young lady who was holding up um, proudly her copy of your new book, Leading from the Middle. That's how I first uh, was introduced to this book. So what is unique about this particular book that uh, you won't find in some of the other leadership books? Yeah, well, what's interesting, uh, Mark, is that a lot of books on the market today, leadership books today, no knock on them, but they just they happen to serve two segments, you know, kind of the C-suiters, the, the ones that are, uh, have been around a very long time and their books about, you know, strategy and vision and leadership from how to run an entire company. And there's a lot of great opportunity and a lot of great books and learning in that kind of swath, if you will. And then there's a whole cadre of books that are for people just starting out, new managers, people that want to make their careers long and lasting ones. And then there's kind of vertical slices of, you know, leadership flavor of the month, whether it's, okay, now we're going to talk about employee engagement, or we're going to talk about humility or vulnerability. And this big hole in the middle was these people that are actually the backbone of most organizations, which is the middle manager. And nobody writes about them because it's just not as sexy to write about the middle managers. We don't even like the term middle managers. But the truth is, you know, Mark, my definition of middle manager is simply anybody who has a boss and is a boss and has to lead from the messy middle up, down, and across their organization, which is a lot of us. In fact, if you just follow the numbers, it's about 78 to 80% of the entire workforce. And no one was writing to this audience and their very specific needs. It is a really tricky dynamic when you're at the vertical and horizontal information flow in a company and activity flow of the company, that intersection creates a lot of unique dynamics. And so I just saw a huge opportunity for the book. And uh, uh, I think even objectively, at least what I, my readers are telling me is there's nothing quite like it out there. Uh, I'm very proud of it. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. And, and it does bring up that good point. You know, nobody wants to talk about the middle manager. <laughs> uh, they sort of are a forgotten few, if you will. Um, so we need to help them kind of help them position themselves to uh, lead others, but they are also being led by others as well. So you're right. It does create a very interesting dynamic. I'm sure that you uh, relied on a lot of your experiences um, at Procter & Gamble for some of the material. Yeah, uh, definitely. But also a whole lot of research. We conducted research with over 3,000 successful middle managers across oh, geez, uh, probably over 300 companies around the world and companies of all sizes and across all industries. Uh, in, in, you know, with my backdrop, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit later about higher education, but, you know, I uh, have, a, I'm very blessed with the opportunity to do some work for Indiana University and, and I'm part of the faculty there, their executive education staff. So I also have, you know, as a background, a huge desire and interest to blend real powerful research with personal experiences. So the book reflects, for sure, 30 years of personal experiences and watching people in the middle thrive or not but also a whole lot of input on what successful middle managers are doing in today's marketplace. No, certainly, as you said, a, a much needed uh, addition to the, to the literature. 